Welcome back to Ten Island Gaming. Today we have a matchup between Vampire Counts and my Chaos Dwarfs army. If you are following the channel, you know my army by heart by now, but I will go through it anyway. We are led by this Sorcerer Prophet. He has the Blood of Hashut. He's a level 4 Wizard of Hashut. He has Earthing Rod, Iron Curse Icon, Charm Shield, and Talisman of Preservation. And he also has the Dragon Forged Weapon, which I will roll for later. Then I have a Demon Smith Sorcerer. Uh, level 1, Lord of Death, uh, naked. Then I have one Hobgoblin Khan. He only has uh, Giant Wolf, Light Armor and Spear. Then I have an Infernal Castellan BSB. He has the Black Hammer of Hashut, Potion of Speed, Enchanted Shield and Talisman of Preservation. For core I have 25 Hobgoblins with uh, shields and full command. Then I have 28 Infernal Guards with Great Weapon. The Champion has Nafta Bombs. And uh, they have Banner of Swiftness. For special I have one Iron Demon with uh, its Hellbound upgrade and Skullcracker. I mean, I mean this dude. Then I also have one Magma Cannon, one Dreadquake Mortar and the Kedai Destroyer. We play Swedish Comp as usual, I have a composition of 11. For spells my level 1 of death rolled up purple sun, which is perfectly fine against vampire counts. And my level 4 of Hashut roll up Burning Wrath, Curse of Hashut, Breath of Hatred and Ash Storm. So let's go to the vampire counts side. And this is the vampire counts list. They are led by a vampire, uh, level 1 with uh, Dragon Helm, uh, Talisman of Preservation, Quick Blood and uh, Sword of Might. Then I have a Master Necromancer, naked. There he is. And two level 1's uh, Necromancer. Uh, for core, we have five wolves, dire wolves, two times uh, 34 skeleton, full command, two times uh, 34 zombies with uh, yeah, full command as well, two fell bats. Uh, 39 Grave Guard with uh, Band of the Barrels. Uh, one more to send in with the Tomb Upgrade. Tomb Upgrade and one Terror Geist. <laughs> I have a comp score of uh, 15 spells. Uh, Van Hells, Hellus Vigor, Raised Dead on my level 4. And also uh, Nike. Uh, all the other guys got that one. By the way, we forgot to mention we rolled up Blood and Glory, so 15 inches up and 9 from the sides. Uh, anyway, I took the first turn uh, and uh, moved up as you see. Backed away the Iron Demon because he's Terror Geist over here and moved quite aggressively with the Kidai up here. Let's go to Winds of Magic and Shooting. For Magic, I tried to cast Ash Storm on the Skeletons, but uh, he, he dispelled it. And then I tried to cast Breath of Hatred on the Kidai, but uh, I didn't get it. For shooting, the Dreadquake got a direct hit on his Terrorgeist, but he rolled a 6 for the region, so that was quite disturbing. The Magma Cannon killed 6 of the Skeletons over here, so not a very good start, but let's see. Over to Vampire Counts, turn 1. Vampire Counts, turn 1. Moved up the bats and the Terrorgeist here on that side. Um, moved up a little bit. Put my dog there to steer his uh, Kedai there. Move to Winds of Magic and shooting. So in the Magic phase, uh, start to cast Race Dead, but he dispelled that with his dice. Uh, around 22 zombies in this block here. Uh, 12 here, maybe. 
some skeleton here. Ten grave guards actually really good. Uh, brought the, those one back. Uh, yep, yeah, over to Chaos Wolves turn two. Uh, I didn't really had any charges. I backed away with the Kadai because he was tying him up here if I charged. You see his humongous blocks over here, so I don't, don't want to get stuck. Move the count up on the right flank, and here I just moved around slightly, as you see. Let's go to Wings of Magic and shooting. For the magic phase, I got on uh, Ashtrom on the skeleton unit here. For shooting, the Dread Crave Mortar got a direct hit into the Grave Guards and killed 9 of them. And the Magma Cannon got a perfect shot into the skeleton and killed 25 of them. So that was really good shooting phase. Let's go to Vampire Count's turn 2. Vampire Counts turn 2. Uh, no charges. Moved up my dogs here to block his uh, Kedai. Uh, 8 millimeters away from uh, being able to scream at the Iron Demon there. From the English chain test here from Astrom. Uh, 4 skeleton died there. And here actually only 2 uh, Grave Guards. So, over to Magic and shooting. So, in the Magic phase. Uh, Race dead, but I only got six models. Uh, then uh, I don't know how many, but a lot of new zombies. Uh, nine more, uh, nine um, uh, grey guards, few skeletons here as well, and that was it for shooting. I killed three dwarfs there from the screen. Over to cast dwarfs turn three. Chaos Dwarfs turn 3. The Kadai uh, didn't make it his toughness test, so he lost one wound. Uh, I charged with the Hobgoblins and the Kadai into the Direwolves. Hopefully, they can overrun and start plucking away on this humongous unit here. Uh, over here, uh, I charged the Iron Demon into his bats, and uh, here I basically just reformed slightly. And yeah, that was everything. Let's go to Winds of Magic and shoot. In the magic phase, I got on uh, Breath of Hatred on the Hobgoblins, that is to overrun here so they can reroll their hits. And then I tried to six dice Ashstorm on the skeleton unit, but he managed to dispel it. Uh, we got the same amount. For shooting, I got a direct hit with the Dread Quake Mortar into his Terrorgeist. But of course, he rolled a six on the region save. So it was quite unlucky. Once again. Once again. The Magma Cannon, however, got a direct hit into the huge block and killed 24 zombies, so that was comforting. Let's go to close combat. The Iron Demon killed the Fell Bats, and over here the Hobgoblins and the Kidai killed the dogs. Uh, the Kidai couldn't overrun because of the Hobgoblin count, but the Hobgoblins made it in the flank. Let's go to Vampire Counts, turn 3. Vampire Count, turn 3. Uh, the terror guys into the Iron Demon uh, moved up the rest. Over to Magic and shooting. On the Magic phase, uh, a few zombies, uh, more skeletons, six more grave guards, uh, then Van Hels, the big version, uh, rolling, uh, Miss Cast rolled a nine, medical feedback, took a wound on, on everyone. Uh, yep. In the screaming phase, <laughs> Uh, four wounds on the Iron Demon and four wounds on the Goblins from the Mortis Engine there. Move to close combat. So in the close combat over here, no wounds from either side and he's uh, unbreakable. Uh, down here, uh, he did, did only two wounds to me. Uh, so I, crumb I crumbled six more. Uh, yes, over to uh, Chaos Wars turn four. Uh, I only charged a Hobgoblin Khan into his level 4. <laughs> I'm gonna kill the Necromancer. Uh, otherwise, yeah, nothing happened. I reformed here to hopefully charge the Terror Guys next turn. Uh, otherwise, it didn't do much. The Kadai couldn't fit inside here unless I charged because it's not one inch from either side, so quite unlucky. And otherwise, yeah, nothing else. Let's go to Winds of Magic and shooting. Yeah, I started off casting uh, Ashtron on the these guys and I managed to get it. Then I also tried to cast Purple Sun, but I didn't roll high enough, so didn't get it. For shooting, uh, the Magma Cannon killed uh, 9 of these guys. Yes. And uh, for 3 of the skeletons back here. Then the Dread Quake Mortar got a direct hit and killed like 12 more. Yes. So yeah, the shooting is good, otherwise I suck. 
uh, let's go to close combat. When a close combat phase here, no one did any wounds. In the Hobgoblin fight, I think I won by three. He yes. killed two of mine and I killed four of him. And over there, he issued a challenge with the Necromancer. Uh, and I was feared, so I needed fives to hit. I didn't hit anything with the wolf or the hobgoblin. He did, didn't hit either, but he has three ranks, banner and stuff like that, so I fled. Broke the bone. Yeah, okay. and I took one wound from a dangerous train because I used my opponent's dice. So <laughs> that, they were cursed. Okay, let's go to Vampire Count's turn four. Oh, in the beginning of the phase here, uh, roll 11 here. Uh, so my opponent was really happy that they were going to kill his can there, uh, but he survived, survived, of course, the first sixth today. Uh, yeah, uh, I didn't move my uh, temple guards, grave guards, because of uh, the dread quake mortar. Otherwise, I moved up everything else. Yes, over to shooting and magic, magic and shooting. So in the magic phase, uh, race dead there, a few guys. Uh, then I tried, he stopped Van Hels, uh, but then I got, got in a few Nahek, so all the guys are back to full wounds. In the uh, screaming phase, killed two goblins and the iron demon over there. So, over to close combat. Combat phase here, uh, he won, I died a few more. Uh, yeah, over to Chaos Wars turn, five. Charged the uh, Inferno Guards into te Terrorgeist. Didn't make the rally test on the count, so he continued to flee. Um, the Kadai moved up here on flank to be able to do something because he was locked down here. And yeah, that was everything. Let's go to Winds of Magic and shooting. So in the Magic phase, first off I started with Breath of Hatred on these guys. He let it go. Then I six dice Purple Sun from this one. He rolled, he didn't uh, dispel it. But uh, yeah, I rolled extremely high, so I was really lucky, and it rolled through the Zombies here, the Grave Guards, and the Skeleton killed a ton of units. As you see, it's pretty empty now. Um, then I cast Ashstrom on this unit. For shooting, the Magma Cannon tried to do a wound on the Mortis Engine, but I failed, so I didn't get his region away, so I didn't want to use the Dreadquake Mortar on that guy, so I chose to shoot directly into the Grave Guards and killed pretty much. 11 more, so I was lucky. Let's go to close combat. In the close combat here, I killed terror guys and reformed as you see, lost three guys. And over here, I killed the last zombie and reformed as you see here. Let's go to vampire counts, turn five. Yeah. In the movement phase, in the beginning of turn five, charged the hoggoblins with the zombies. They fled really far, uh, otherwise, uh, Dread Quake Mortar here and Ashtrom there, so stood still. Over to Magic and shooting. So in the Magic phase, I got, got back a few skeletons and grave guards. Those zombies got bigger. That was all, nothing to scream at. Uh, over to Chaos Wars turn 6. Chaos Wars, last turn. Uh, I chose not to charge with these guys because I don't think I can kill enough of the skeletons. I think it's better to shoot them down if I want to take half the points. Uh, the only charge I ha had was the Kedai Destroyer uh, here. And otherwise I rallied both the Hobgoblins and the Khan. Chose to just move away with them and also the Khan. That was everything for movement. Let's go to Winds of Magic and shooting. So for magic I actually cast Purple Sun. From my level 1 over here, heading this direction, but I got a miscast. And not only that, when I when I cast a distance, I got a misfire and it scattered this way instead. So it went through my hog goblins, killed five of them, uh, killed my sorcerer prophet, but the uh, red quick mortar survived, so that was quite lucky. But uh, yeah, I wanted it to go this way instead. So that was everything for magic phase. In the shooting phase, the magma cannon went over here and killed a lot of skeletons. And then Red Quake Mortar tried to aim for this unit to yeah, finish it off, but it scattered down here and I killed four of these guys instead. And that was everything for magic and uh, shooting. Now we'll go to close combat. In the close combat phase here, I um, killed the Necromancer and a couple of more zombies and it crumbled a bit. So yeah, that was everything. Let's go to last turn for Vampire Counts. 
So in the moment phase turn six, uh, fairly charged with this zombies into his uh, flame cannon there. Otherwise, I st stay put. Uh, over to Medic and see if I can get this this unit over half points. Medic phase. Uh, stop the first one uh, from my level four. Then I got to miscast with my uh, remaining level one. Got uh, a three and uh, he didn't suck up into warp, did wound to this guy and killed uh, 11 of my own. So, uh, so over to close combat. So after my turn six, we calculated the points. Uh, I won by 100 points first, but then we put on the 400 points different in, in uh, comp. So the Vampire Council won by 501 points. It was a bit strange match. Yeah. Uh, not that fun to play from either side, I think. Just a small gap here. To Slug push, fist. Push, yeah, push through. And uh, raise dead and uh, burn them. But uh, still, still fun. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.